this is like uh, it reminds me of so much bad stuff from one teacher called Miss McManus she's the worst teacher ever taught me French for five years and um, she just expects you to do things but doesn't tell you what she's expecting you to do and then you have to take a wild stab at it and then when you do it wrong she'll just fucking murder you that's what I feel like when I'm doing YouTube stuff now I mean I have to do things to entertain people I don't know what people will get entertained by though because I'm not being told so when I get it wrong, they all start murdering me and disliking videos. I'm just like, for God's sake. Oh yeah, fuck off with your heat-seeking missiles or whatever. Maybe he's just very good at judging things, because he was firing quite far ahead of me then. Jeez! I'm pretty sure fire wouldn't hurt you if you're exposed for that long. Okay, can we break for this? We can't. Oh God. This is what, this better be what GTA 5 is like. There better be a mission like this in GTA 5. There's always a good mission. A one memorable standout mission in GTA games. Even the DLCs. Like San Andreas, I can remember, like, there's a few in that, but the, the biggest one was the first part of the game. You're, like, driving through the streets on... I don't know where it was. Like, you go to some building, it gets raided by the cops, and you and... Was it... Who were the other guy? I don't know, like, the other big black guy that's with you at the end. Not Big Smoke, not Ryder, the other one. You're with him, and you have to escape, and then you go out to the back of the building, like, after going on the roof, and then there's rider in smoke, and they get in a car, and it's all weird. They have to, like, battle helicopters, and, oh, it's so memorable. But then, what am I doing here? Trying to lower this thing. Um, oh, that's easy. Da -da 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 -da. And then GTA 4, I'm pretty sure the most memorable mission in that would have been... The big bank robbery with Pat, Pat, Patrick, what's his name, Patrick, or is it Packy? Pa Packy, yeah, let's go with Packy, because that's not offensive. Then the DLCs was like The Lost and Damned, where you ride around with the guys, with the guy's bike, uh, after being set up with some drugs, or drug dealing. And then there's loads in Bad Gay Tony, because I took lessons from it. They did like the, um, air crane mission, the final mission was pretty damn good with the bike and the plane. Why is this guy shooting? Okay, what have I done? There's nothing to piss him off. Oh, I know where I'm supposed to be going. GTA 5 better have a cool mission like that. Else I'm going to be annoyed. I'm already annoyed that it's been postponed till September. I mean, how long do you want to make us wait? That's like a year more than we should have been waiting. I really hate it when they tease us with games and then don't release content or information about them for like seven years. Oh, hello. No, I'm not stupid enough to use magnum ammo on you. Wow, why was the blood coming out of his chest when I was shooting him in the head? Did I just say full ammo on the magnum? I've already got full ammo. Christ. That's quick. Maybe they're just generous. I wasn't really paying attention. I kind of like the pistol in this game, apart from the reload sound. And the fact that it's really useless against later enemies. Oh, fuck off. Oh yeah, have you seen the new Gears of War thing? Grenades stick to people now, that's gonna be fucking annoying. It's not like they weren't already overpowered, let's just make them even more overpowered. I think they've butchered the multiplayer. Then again, I'm not one to judge. I mean, I don't know the first thing about keeping the game balanced. But I'm pretty sure but they're doing what they've done, they haven't done so. I think they've added a bit too much. They've, they've they've bitten off a bit more than they can chew with that. I think people are going to be complaining left, right and centre about different things. Christ almighty, where did this even come from? I saw them being thrown like from up over there. And then they're all of a sudden just behind me. Ah oh, man. Satisfying, but I never really remember to use these grenades. I should probably, uh, there's a few habits I want to get to in games. One is playing more MMOs. Because I've got this mouse for MMO. Oh, Christ almighty. You know, just kill me. Yep. I was just about to say. I was probably just going to kill myself now because this is... Oh, we're back here, are we? We're playing this game again. Oh, for God's sake. Camper. Right. Okay. Maybe I should have taken that aid at the last station. Seems that these guys want to play rough or unfair. Maybe I should try and avoid being shot by everyone that I can. Especially this bloody helicopter. I hate that the fucking flashlight and the sprint have the same meter bar thing. Uh, what? You, you didn't even 
activate it. How's it still active? The self-activating bloody man hack. Were there more guys around here? I don't think there were. There's one or two around here, I know that. Uh, there we go. Alright, let's be tactical and use our new gun. I never, I always do this, especially in Resident Evil games. You get a really powerful gun. Jesus Christ. You get a really powerful gun, then you don't use it in fear of wasting the ammo. Then by the end of the playthrough, you realize that you've never actually used it once because you're so scared of wasting the ammo. I think it's a bigger waste if you don't use it. Ah, that's another habit I want to get into. Use my damn powerful guns. I don't even reload it, but thank God. Unequipping it and then re-equipping it reloads it automatically. Come here, you bastard. Bloody man hacks. Still a fellow contestant for the most annoying games in Half-Life, or enemies in Half-Life. Along with the head crabs and that. So that went a lot better. Because I wasn't reckless. Duh. Oh yeah, another habit I want to get into. Focusing on the game as well as talking. This whole recording session so far has just been about me and my YouTube stuff as opposed to the game. But that's Jesus Christ. The hell do you think you're doing? Um, what was I saying? Well, I already know what I was saying. I don't know. What, what was I saying seems just like a good content filler. I don't, I'm going to get someone's opinion on this, whether you like it or not, but my French teacher always told me, Miss McManus, the annoying witch, bitch, demon from hell woman, uh, she always told me that saying um before I say a sentence makes it sound not fluent, and I completely disagree. When I'm talking French, I, I, like, I think saying um at the beginning of the sentence makes it sound better. Even French people do it, for Christ's sake. Oh. Follow the trail of enemies. That's obviously where you need to go. Oh, and don't die, because that's a good tip as well. Is there a guy up here? There is. Two. Campers. One was hiding behind a bloody destructible box. Okay. Oh, Christ. At least now we can take this fucker down. Yeah, wouldn't you rather just say um before a sentence than, than not say it? Because I fucking well would. Where's my gun gone? Oh. That is a bit of a glitch. I like how stupid this guy is. Like, he could just sit on this side and shoot, and I would have no way of defending myself. But, he's buggered off now. If I'm saying a sentence in French, and I said um before it, she'll go ape shit at me. I mean, thank God I'm done with French but for now, but... Otherwise, like, you know, a year ago I wasn't, so... Jeez. That's really bad. I I think, uh, je suis de be 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 and all that. It sounds better than just... Yes, we do. Because it just gives it some sort of oomph. I don't know, I didn't do English. Like, well, I didn't do very well at English at GCSE. I didn't take it for A level. Oh, I forgot to press the bloody button. Back we go. Another habit I need to get into. Be smart. Oh, wow. I kind of almost, my brain said, maybe we can get up there. But no. I'm just going to have to do all this again. Get off, Freeman. God, what kind of a scientist are you? Forgetting to press the button. Gah. Disgraceful. Do I have to go through the whole courtyard again? There's still someone alive up here. What the Christ? There's loads of them alive. Did they respawn or something? I doubt it. Now we need to get back out there. We just gotta quickly run through the whole facility again then. Oh wait, we can't run because our AUKS power. AUX, what does it stand for? Someone point it out. Auxiliary? I don't think that'd be it. It doesn't take auxiliary power to sprint. AUX probably means some some scientific stuff. I spent a lot of time today browsing down the Facebook page of I fucking love science. And let me tell you, it makes you feel good for some reason. If you're a fellow scientist like me, I don't know if I'm allowed to call myself that, because I only do one science at A level. Uh, it's nice to just scroll down and see all these scientific facts. Boy, that was a waste of time, having to run all the way back through the level. Press the button, open the gate, and then we can fucking proceed. Fucking. I'm probably just going to get to Black Mesa East and then stop. And when I say just get back to Black Mesa East, people are going to be like, what do you mean just? It's a long way away. But yeah, but I can plow through it. I mean, I know I sound confident there, having died already and uh, missed the button for the, like 
the one thing that I went up there to get, I missed it. You know, it's like going to the shop to buy some bread and then buying everything in the shop except for bread and then coming home. Then you have to go back to the bloody shop. Oh, Mr. Chopper's back and he's got a new pair of wings. Or well, at least he's not on fire. Or maybe it's just a different chopper. Who knows? We need some scientific evidence to make this a hypothesis. Well, to not make this a hypothesis. It's already a hypothesis, but to strengthen the hypothesis into a theory. Look at this leap pro skills right here. Oh, fuck. I hit the wall. But luckily, physics in this world are quite corrupt. And bouncing off that wall wouldn't just stop me or tear the side of the thing off. It just sort of rebounds me in the direction I want to go. 